it didn't specify that it was uh, uh, USB powered, but it shows a separate port. Right. So that was kind of weird, but uh, and it might be good for something. Uh, but I, I was glad it was USB powered, mm -hmm. partly because uh, before I found a place to charge and time to do it, I just hooked it up to this power pack right here and, and got it <laughs> got it going. Nice. So that was handy. Um, but uh, my phone was already needing a little bit. Do you bigger. know what version that's running? I think this is you know supposedly one of the minor drawbacks. I think it's ice cream sandwich, not okay. jelly bean. Uh, but uh, and ice cream sandwich. Sense. We'll find out later whether you know sometimes they'll update first thing. I'm gonna come in here and. Whoa, Four Jelly two. Bean. There you go. Four Son two of two. a gun. Now, that's great news. Mm -hmm. That is awesome news. In fact, because I'm uh, I'm not, I can't remember positively. But because let's see Jelly what, Bean will support multiple users, yep, right? That's exactly where I'm going. Going to users, and you got an add user. Uh, now, uh -huh. it'd be great, awesome if it was Jelly Bean 4.3, because then you have restricted profiles. But this is awesome that it's got uh, multiple profiles. So we like that this has Google Play Store on it. Just wish it worked. If we could only get it to open. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I need to look. It keeps crashing. Okay. Now, when you say for my money, for it, it, it depends on how much I want to spend. But uh, I, you know, if I could buy another one today, and and. Uh, you know, I had to be reasonable on the price, but I, I could get a decent one. I, I want the uh, 2013 Nexus 7. I have always, from the beginning, felt like that 7-inch was the ideal size. Now, I've got a 10-inch, but it's a transformer, and it's got a keyboard with it with an extra battery. Me, if you're going to have over 7 inches on your tablet, you might as well get something with a keyboard. Uh, but um, the 7-inch ones, at least the, the non-iPads, uh, you know, the, the mini... I don't count because it, it's uh, too wide to fit in the pocket, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's my understanding. I haven't tried one. But the seven inch ones, uh, seven inch Androids will fit in most pockets. But yeah, I would love to uh, update my uh, Nexus 7 to a 2013. But let me tell you about uh, another alternative that's a, a, you know, about as good. Uh, my wife got this recently. If you don't mind doing business with Sprint, the Galaxy Tab. Three seven inch Sprint will give you one of these for fifty dollars up front to your contract, but the minimum contract is five dollars a month. So wow. you end up spending a hundred and seventy or eighty dollars for it. Now turn the data off because that five dollar contract is only twenty five <laughs> megabytes a month. Uh, sure. But uh, but they there was no hidden uh, cost. Uh, since then, we got another one uh, for my son. My older son got three of them on that deal. Uh, so that uh, that's right up there with the Nexus 7. And uh, especially if you don't have $200 today and you, and you don't mind doing business with Sprint, $50 and then $5 a month. Uh, that's uh, not for, a bad deal. For two years. So that's, uh, that's something pretty interesting I've been telling people about lately. Um, and what about in, like, in the education realm from a management standpoint? From a management standpoint, uh, I, would, uh, I would do the uh, Nexus 7 2013, but uh, if, I could get, if I could get the money for a set of them, then I'd go with uh, the Google Play for Education uh, deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the current cost is, but uh, uh, I know the, the retail beginning on the 2013 is uh, $230. Um, I don't know for sure if they give you a break on that, but I do know that you're going to pay another $30 for the uh, management console. If you're familiar with the Chromebook management mm -hmm. console, I'm pretty sure that it's more or less the same thing, but it, it also integrates the Play Store and such. Um, but to me, that would be the way to go. Now, I love to talk about these really low-end items, but if you're talking about the ideal for management purposes and so on, 
Now, if you couldn't spend that much, then uh, uh, look for something with Jelly Bean 4.3 or higher because not only, well, we just found out that Jelly Bean 4.2 uh, has the multi profiles, which to me is a huge step forward in management uh, in a school situation. Uh, and but uh, with 4.3, they also added restricted profiles, so you can control what apps are on there uh, for the for the really little kids. Right. Uh, so is that yeah. sort of what you're getting? Yeah. At? Uh, and you know, so to me the. Uh, Jelly Bean 4.2 at least, 4.3 is even better, and uh, and then I like the Nexus, uh, but the Galaxy, the Galaxy tabs are a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal at the right place. Yeah. Right. And actually, you can go. Uh, that's something else I should mention. You can go buy one for about 160 or 70 dollars too. However, the version you get at Best Buy or possibly from Amazon or something. It's only going to be in eight gig, eight gigs of memory in that Galaxy Tab. Uh, the Sprint version has 16, so nice. so you're getting a a good uh, payout deal. Plus you're it's getting uh, 16 gigs of memory instead of eight. 